that. I'm not ready. <coughs> if I you want to ride your chick, do a helicopter dick. That never works unless it's in public and a bar. <laughs> Don't ask me how I know. Oh, I, I already know. Rugby. <laughs> on the bar or on the uh, I was on top of Harry's bar helicoptering. Oh. What? The time frame has passed. I'm allowed to say that now. <laughs> the statute of limitations. Yeah. It, it was it was Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> the last week. All right, everybody. Hey, welcome to Between the Rolls with uh, Murder Hobo Inc. I have the list of things I'm supposed to say that, you know, you follow us on Twitch, you follow us on Twitter, you can see us on YouTube. Uh, we also have shit uh, that you can buy. I ordered uh, a bath mat today. <laughs> I am totally serious. Yeah, absolutely. You run out of toilet paper? Gotta need something to wipe with. Scooch your oh, like my dog. Do, do, we, do we have them with my face on it yet? Not yet. <laughs> You need to stick out your tongue so we can get a good picture of that. Yeah. I'm sure I'll freeze up again here before too long. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But guys, welcome to the special um, holiday edition. Valentine's Day? Yes. Thank Helmet God. special edition. I'm sorry I forgot your Valentine's gift. Anyway. Um, of We're all going to have it by the end of the show. God, I am so tired right now. Anyway, uh, let's go around real quick and introduce everybody. Let's start with the great bearded Carol. Carol, introduce yourself. What? I have a beard? Huh? What? Hi, everyone. I'm Carol. Um, I'm at a party, actually, so there may be some interesting sounds coming from out there. Uh, and normally I'm a, I play D and D, Pathfinder, or Starfinder, whatever, any of those systems. And I also paint minis. Next, Kyle. Hi, I'm Kyle. Um, I thought I was the host of the show. I don't I'm going to be the host of the show of the Gany Way tonight. Hi, I'm Kyle. I'm your host. And uh, next to me is uh, Blake. Blake, why don't you introduce yourself? I'm Blake. <laughs> and finally, let's introduce um, your character's fucking Frank. dead on Saturday. <laughs> 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 well, unlike Carol, this is fabric, so I'm not sure what her green screen is supposed to be tonight. Uh, welcome to the show. Vomit uh, inducing. That's true. Uh, as long as she doesn't start spinning. And hey, if you want to buy a cool shirt, just saying, you know, oh. I think they're on sale for 12 bucks. Uh, I usually do a way better job hosting this show, but, you know, Kyle whined and pissed and moaned. So it's like, true. I it's, was it's the, end the end of cause the year. of one of the best one shots created this entire year. And so Murder of the Doge. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? Absolutely. I helped give you that idea. Uh -huh. Boots? <laughs> Boots. Anything other than you? <laughs> yeah, okay, good point. Boots anyway. was awesome. Anyway. Uh, if you watched our uh, one shot last Saturday, you saw in the DM's chair, Blake, he was running a fun little one shot called Deliverance, which was created two weeks ago, three weeks ago. Uh, on a between the two, 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 yeah, two weeks. Two weeks ago. Two weeks ago on our special one shot gift giving between the roles where we combine styles of gameplay. Wait, sorry. Styles of gameplay. I gotta make sure I'm in the camera. With different <laughs> techniques of creating. We'll get into what tonight's is later. Uh as for last Saturday. We had random tables, and we had an escort mission. And so first, let's talk about someone who was in the cast who probably died of rock grubs. Honestly, I didn't finish it because it was really <laughs> I really tried, I promise. Boy, spoiler alert, they survived. They did, really? Oh, okay. Yeah, they did. We did great. And we had a new guy. I saw that. Didn't you try to do, like, 
48 points of damage right off the bat to him. Yeah, that was that was one of those fun lear- learning on the fly things that uh, I, I, all of a sudden I found out when everyone rolls an eight on how many rat grubs they get, and I roll a six on damage, that's not a good combination for starting out. <laughs> all right, so Carol, what happened at the one shot? Why are oh, we talking gosh. about rat grubs and people almost being killed? Oh, actually, and, and the new guy actually did die at one point. <laughs> Thank God for Revivify <laughs> and 12 level characters. Uh, 12 level characters. Um, basically, we, um, we had just returned from a mission uh, and found that the person that was supposed to pay us for that mission wasn't at home, but at the temple across the street. Uh, it was to the god of, uh, I can't remember the god's name, but it was the god of rot, uh, rotting and such. The, the, and, ris- the Risden. What's that? The Risden. Okay. Of yeah. that. <laughs> and um, so we went over there, uh, found him there, and he had one more mission for us, and then he'd pay us double. So that sounded good. We just had to escort her pet uh, to her grave one last time. Uh, well, what he didn't tell us is the pet, pet was pet squirrel, and they were rock grubs. To which um, he came and shook our hands and passed them on to us that way. Uh, so we basically were taking damage the whole way there. Uh, said the poor wizard, who unfortunately doesn't have a lot of health to begin with. Uh, he did die along the way to this. Um, but Probably by they- choice. <laughs> <laughs> well, you were on your way to a cemetery, so you know at least yeah. you could drop the body off real easy. Well, we weren't dropping the body. The body was already buried. Um, we were dropping off the rock grubs to the body. Uh, and But, you know, of course, it was only like a half mile off, but of course there were about three encounters along the way. Oh, crap. I don't... What the Almost hell is, like it was designed that way. I yeah. know. Almost. <laughs> you know what? I can't remember what the first one was. Because, the, oh, first the first one was, one, the first the, one was where you obliterated the zombies. Yeah, we had the... We, well, also, wasn't it the, tr- the tree, too? There were, the there were sacks three, falling out of the tree. They, they were yeah. corpse flowers. I there watched were, yeah, it. There was the corpse flowers. <laughs> I watched that part. I, you hadn't killed the uh, corpse flowers by the time I had to stop watching it. So we took a long time. that easily enough. Um, but then we almost set off a really deadly, the deadliest of encounters because basically a 14th level druid in uh, deer form came, blocked our path. And, <clears throat> uh, shoot, I can't remember what, uh, I remember the character. I don't remember the names. I'm sorry. Penis it's- goes in you. That's what it was. Sugarbeard? Sugar beet, thank you. Wow. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, you I told watched. you I watched a bit of it, but clearly you don't remember, Carol. So, no, Frank, just, why don't you I kind of finish what happened? I don't remember creating it. Yeah, uh, that's true. I'm <laughs> Actually, sure. I, you know, I'm going to have to defer to Blake because I uh, I took second string to the producer role, so I did not play in it. No, no, wow. no. Yeah, no, Sugar Beard went up and decided to hit the druid. And then, like, Eight of his buddies, or seven of his buddies, uh, came out of hiding <laughs> so that we were you know, faced with a bunch of 14th level druids. And thank God I knew that was a bad idea, so I went and healed them. And then our resident bard tried to butter him up but failed because he started calling Sugar Beard a hero. <laughs> well, what was that? You know, but- I was going to ask him whether he was enjoying the Witcher series on Netflix. I, know. Uh, I feel like I don't need to ask Dandelion that anymore. No, Dandelion, yeah, no. He's hey, I, he loves The Witcher. I do have a question for the cast member, Carol. Uh, why didn't yeah. you just say, fuck this job, <laughs> get rid of the rod grubs, and go <laughs> off to a tavern to get shit-faced and burn that city down like you guys always do to me? <laughs> no, I, I, gave, I gave them the opportunity to rest first. They did, I... I <laughs> I, I kind of glazed over the fact that that was a possibility, but it did exist. Oh, yeah, there was that, too. He made us roll for, for how many spell slots we burned at the beginning. And actually, I rolled, like, friggin' five on a D6. Which was hilarious. Oh, that was God. hilarious, yes. <laughs> you, yeah, wait, I don't care what? what spells you lose. 
What? <laughs> well, I'll get rid of this spell and this. I've lost spell. 22 spells out of 26. <laughs> Thankfully, I mean, thankfully, you let me pick levels, so I'm like, okay, two first, one, one of, all right, one of that, one of that, two of that, based on that, but still, I'm like, oh, God, really? All right. A, a real then, DM would have dicked you over and made you roll for the spell levels, too, just to screw with you. I, I, I almost did, but I, I elected against it. <laughs> yes, I'm glad you didn't, um, because I was able to keep my, I decided to keep my highest level stuff intact. Um, but then we made it, what's, uh, oh yes, we also found a bottle somewhere, which, um, <clears throat> that was all that was left over from the corpses that you obliterated. Yeah, that, that's right. And then basically the, uh, wizard went over and, uh, who was carrying it? Uh, Sugarbeard was carrying it, right? Uh, Dan Dandelion is the one that had found oh, it. Oh, Dandelion was carrying it. Yeah, see all these details. Captain Scott, Sugar Scott, was, Scott was away from Scott was away but from table anyway, and told that he would give it to him. The <laughs> wizard got a hold of it. We're still like a friggin' five hundred feet from our destination, and he pops the cork, and it's a friggin' gin who summons a fire elemental. Uh, we took out the fire elemental pretty quick. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, that was the the um. That's right. The wizard summoned a water elemental, and it was enough uh, gallons of water that basically put out the fire elemental. That it. was a five-minute explanation. I, I, on I was going to say, you, you want to yeah. see some high-quality high yeah. math? Yeah, there yeah. was. A hey, there was great <laughs> for all anybody who was interested in math <laughs> and, and such. Uh, but yeah, they figured out it actually was enough gallons to more than put that thing out. And now, then, do we have that marked on the YouTube or the Twitch channel so we know when to skip over that part? Or? <laughs> I, I assume that everybody who watches our YouTube channel starts it, watches the first two minutes, and says, fuck these guys. I'm done. Possibly. That's not true. I watch every single one that I'm in all the way through. I'd like to thank you for being our main subscriber. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I can't help but watch the ones that I'm in, too. Yeah, it's just like... Actually... Uh, He's Funny, good. I sort of don't watch the ones I'm in because then I will sit there and second guess everything I did. I, I think Kyle and I are both referring to the fact that we, we watch it while we're engaged in it. <laughs> I, I can't do that. Um, <laughs> I want to watch it on this screen and it's not quite the same. Uh, excuse me, Carol. Hey, future Kyle. You're doing a great job. <laughs> at it. All right, uh, Carol, where were you at again? Oh, I'm about to get to the end. So basically, okay. I believe skip after to the end. <laughs> skip. Basically, after we extinguished the uh, fire, <clears throat> the Jin said, "Fuck this," and left. And then we made it to the end, and basically put our hands in the brush dirt. We had to figure out which grave was hers, and we talked to somebody who told us which one it is, and we put our hands in the dirt, and the rock grubs came out. We completed the mission. And um, got home no problem, and hopefully got it paid. So, but it was running. It was running pretty late at that point. I remember. Yeah, yeah. it was a yeah. long, long session, <laughs> but it was a lot of fun. I had a, I had a blast playing it, and um, yeah, good job to you for realizing that that was probably a bit too much damage to be doing with the rock. Well, well, everyone's groans of. Holy shit! And, and and first one where I'm like, that was that was a pretty dead giveaway. You I was gonna say yes. I had the opportunity to at least start that one shot on Sunday, and we only had three rut rot grubs and you, the you first all, bit of you damage. All rolled, you all rolled ones, and I'm like, fuck that. <laughs> yeah, I was three. gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was great. And then he's like, all right, screw you guys. You're taking more, and you take. 24 damage to begin with. Oh, shit. I was I glad I didn't play a wizard. 40, I think I took 48 on the first one. And it's like, oh, my yeah. God. I roll like eight. And they's like, have it. I'm like, okay, that makes a lot more sense. Because I'll be dead before I even leave the freaking town. Let the record show Blake had his chance and failed. <laughs> he, uh, I, I, did, I, did kill the new, I, I did kill the newbie. That's yeah, true. Well, you did great. Uh, that Rest part. in peace, Matt. We appreciate you playing. Hey, no, no, no. I, I brought him back, but he did technically kill the newbie. 
<laughs> why I brought hey there was I, just rem- I just remember I the look on I remember the look on Carol's face where she's like where, where I'm like no you're dead and she's like that's not how it works and I'm like no it is that's how it works yeah and as soon as you said I'm like oh shit you're right that is totally yeah because of <laughs> what these are it, it's not like being down and bleeding out yeah they work you they work the way into your heart and kill you outright so I'm like well shit <laughs> thinking oh if anyone goes down i'll just heal them up well you, you, you guys ended up getting lucky if anyone would have been taking fire damage they would have burrowed faster and you you would have been taking more piercing actually actually i did once but you said it was the second time you took fire damage that would they would oh, actually yeah, do more damage. I, 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 I i meant if anyone was on fire yeah uh. no i <laughs> so Blake, you one. somehow got the twelfth level. I'm going to cut you off, Carol. Shut up! It's my turn to talk now, and I'm going <laughs> to let Blake talk now. Uh, <laughs> your hey, side of things. <laughs> hey, what is my wife doing? <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> okay. This is, Paul, and this is our host. Oh, apparently she's a fan of pussy. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how we get new people on the show every time. That, that's that's why we're rated mature audiences only. Have we have yeah, we done the mature audiences only yet today? Yeah, we did it. Mature audiences only, even though they should every freaking time. All right, Blake, you got the twelfth level one shot going through, and everything you rolled, you ended up seemingly with something that wasn't really up to par with 12th levels and you certainly changed that and made it a hell of a lot deadlier how did you feel about the fact that now your pcs were probably going to die <laughs> with the rot grubs well they they weren't because they they were they were uh properly expelled uh, uh carol mentioned that they talked to someone at the graveyard who is essentially the lookout for the quest giver mm-hmm. uh, he was going to absolutely snitch on them if they didn't show up <laughs> <laughs> uh, or or if or if they just kind of said fuck this and like took a <laughs> took a breather and went back. Sure. Um, but no, after uh, the, the rock uh, being in proximity to their old master uh, was enough to uh, cause them to burrow uh, forth from their current host uh, again, taking damage that time that wouldn't have killed them. Uh, but uh, they were free of the infestation by the end of it. Yeah. yeah. So I, I was going to make them cut each other, but they were oh. all banged up and I elected against it. Sure, sure. And you've run this adventure twice, one successful, one less so. Better, more successful. Filling yeah. like filling everyone in. Uh, so I ran it the following day uh, with our with our local group, uh, and they all died to the Ifriti because the fire elemental set two of them on fire, and instead of actually just trying to kill the fire elemental, they wasted their turn, like trying to extinguish themselves, but without moving. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that sounds about right. Yeah. So, so they were matchsticks. As soon as they were off, as soon as they were extinguished, they were automatically back on fire because they hadn't they hadn't left his space. <laughs> no, I'm good. No, strangely enough, I had the conjure elemental spell. I just don't think I would have been clever enough to actually summon a water elemental. That was the new guy too. That well, yeah, and, that and was the, bad. The, uh, when, we roll, when we when we rolled on Saturday, the Afridi came out feral because he I rolled a one and he had gone crazy in his time of confinement, so that's why he attacked the party. Uh, on Sunday, he attacked the party because they had a water genasi with them and they had a blood feud. Oh, that makes sense. Essentially, the Afridi just goes after whatever, and you just make up whatever reason you want. Water would, genasi, I, I, it's crazy. I would, I would, I would have, if, if Scott would have uh, been able, been successful on his control monster, I would have given him a wish. Ooh. I am so sad he wasn't, too. <laughs> I thought it was such a cool idea. All right. Well, we need to get going on with the rest of this show here. So if you're actually interested, what was it called again? You called it... <laughs> 
Deliverance. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. Uh, if you're interested in watching that, it's on YouTube. It's on Twitch. Go back. Watch there. We've given you all the spoilers. You know everyone dies at the end or lives. I don't know. Did you get those confused? <laughs> which which one did we film and which one was in the local group? You don't know. Now you have to watch and, it all and, over and again. Which one was just me masturbating and going, oh, yeah, fuck all y'all. <laughs> <laughs> That's the special version. <laughs> That's uh, that's uh, for our gold member subscribers. Mur mur murder hobo <laughs> after dark. We <laughs> get Patreon, you know, with that special. Oh yeah, because yeah, that's that's another headache I need. <laughs> I, I think our I think our Patreon viewers are still expecting Kyle to be baking a cake naked. Yeah, no oh. shit. <laughs> all right, all right. Speaking of a gift for our fans, it is the last between the rolls of the gift one shots in December. Um, of the today. decade, of the decade. the decade, we've been doing this for at least one decade now, guys. We're going to be doing it for two decades here, coming up here in a second. Um, so today we're working with uh, doing political one shots, political intrigue, uh, and then thanks to Blake's idea, we're doing a group share creation. So, first off, just your opinions on attempting to run political one shots. I personally, as you guys discovered, found that the rules don't cover enough of what I want to do in that. And so I had to come up with some crazy convoluted rules, which the viewers may eventually see. Or I, I, will... I believe I believe the rules do, because isn't, do they... rule, number, isn't rule number one, whatever the I DM win. says? Yeah. Shows? There you what go. Makes... Just make sure I'm the DM. It, rule number one is whatever makes the game fun. I, I'm, I'm talking. I'm talking according to Hoyle. Oh, oh, according not according to D and D, according to Hoyle. Nice, okay. very nice. Fair. <laughs> All right, Frank, you're old. You've played D and D twice now, three times. Uh, a couple times, I think. A uh, couple four times, four maybe. Yeah. Four. Ooh, nice. In almost four fucking decades. <laughs> yeah. There you go. How many, uh, how, many how many children have you slaughtered during that uh, illustrious campaign? You know, I was always a noble player, according to the law, by the law, to the letter. So, but if only, they looked like halflings, they were screwed. Uh, only maybe a generation. <laughs> <laughs> to answer your question, uh, the political intrigue game is uh, my Achilles heel. I do not do them very well uh, because as a DM... I like to plan for all eventualities and in a political intrigue game, you can toss that idea out. The players are going to come up with ideas just off the hook that you never would have thought of. And that's great. But I, you, you had, if you plan it on the fly, then you'll do okay. But if you try and plan it, put it words to paper, it will never turn out that way. It's just like any game I've ever published. Uh, we can play it on here, and somebody might play it uh, at home in an entirely different manner. And that's okay, because rule number one is uh, just have fun. It's a game. But uh, the political intrigue game, aside from Murder of the Doge, perhaps our greatest show ever. <laughs> uh, and I think Blake will back me up on that. Um, Absolutely, without, without question. Yeah, the best cast we've had. Hands down. Except and, for, and that's only because there were two of us. <laughs> that's right. Uh, but yeah, the political intrigue is fun. Um, it, it is a, a, a literal bitch to prepare for. It, it just, it doesn't happen because you get two, four, six, eight, who do we appreciate uh, players in there? And they will come up with just some off the wall shit that makes murder hobos look like schoolgirls. Um, well, well, and, and I'm and I'm reminded just starkly of the fact when when uh, the, la the previous one shot that I ran, when uh, Scott's character was compelled to confess. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, exactly. Uh, I, was, I, was, I, was, I was I was not expecting. That, chicken fucker. Correct me if I'm wrong. He was a chicken fucker. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> A poultry and, provocateur. And, and I'm like, the players take it there. You don't even have to. Yeah. So I, 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 I like it because it allows me to look at my players in an entirely different light. I am unable to suitably, in my opinion, plan for 
uh, the majority of eventualities because they will turn on a dime. Uh, it's a lot like watching Survivor when it was still a real show. That's, and, that's and, 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 and I'd like to chime in just even if you know how you how someone would normally respond, if there has been a specific instance that someone has a personal connection to or a personal experience with, they will more times than not go in a completely opposite direction than what you were expecting and you wouldn't have, and you didn't even know that they were going to do that. It's a sociology experiment gone horribly wrong. I, I miss the golden days of psychology back when you could actually traumatize people. Anybody who's watching our show has been traumatized. Oh, yeah. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Carol, your opinions on the political intrigue? Have you played in them? Have you tried to run any? Mm. It's scary. It's I mean, crazy. I mean, basically, it seems even if it's not totally political intrigue, I still have the same thing with players doing what players are going to do. I mean, just look at this group of players. Half the time, how? how I think she just insulted us. No, <laughs> no, no, I think no she not called, me. I think she just called us players. <laughs> Off the rails. You know, it's 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 that's still along the similar line. The camera. <laughs> what? Like they're talking over me. What? No, no. I think that was a great that, opinion, Carol. We, we we greatly value what you have to say. Please. So anyway, on. Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yes. And the other part of this creation that we're doing tonight, which is group share creation, where a group of wonderful, intelligent, creative DMs come together to make something. We don't have, have that, actually. so we're actually going to talk to well, these I guys. Say, I'm like, I'm waiting to see the one Carol's running. They're all in the other room, by the way. Oh, <laughs> oh she has a show right after this, uh, but clearly <laughs> just rewatched no. this one over that one. No, I just, or, or, or at least simultaneously. simultaneously. Yeah, yeah, simultaneously. <laughs> just make sure ours is louder, <laughs> so that you can really get the full Carol murder hobo experience. Yeah. No, just that there's a bunch of GMs in their room all playing board games right now. Mm. My husband, the, the husband of the lady who was here, he is an awesome GM and he and can tell, run. Tell them, tell them to choose Helen Keller. What? Helen Keller always wins. That's right. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know why, Carol? Playing that. <laughs> okay. Uh, and there we've insulted everybody in 2019. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, hang on, hang on. I think there was a black albino midget somewhere that that was only partially offended. He's got to be pansexual. I don't think we've offended pansexuals yet. I do enjoy fucking pans. <laughs> it's that Damn. gong sound you get that really. <laughs> Really does it for me. Rings in the new year. <laughs> that's that's well. why I call mine the mallet. <laughs> Folks, if we haven't insulted your group of people, drop us a line. We'll go ahead and get to them. <laughs> I was going to say, please, by all means, let us know. That's right. We're the Mel Brooks of D&D. &D. All right. A lot more of us. Other than this mess right here, <laughs> let's start again from the top. Frank, have you ever done a group share creation? Probably it happens more as a full campaign than a one shot, but... Have you done yeah. any like that? Uh, it depends. When you have uh, PCs like Kyle, I'll, I'll give him props on this one, who go ahead, and Blake, uh, who go ahead and give a detailed description of their background, uh, i.e. watch the campaign this weekend and you'll see what happens when you give me too much to use. Uh, the background allows a good DM to go ahead and decipher portions from a player's past infiltrated into their future and really muddle up the scenario. Again, Kyle is going to be visited by gnomes this weekend. Oh. Not three ghosts? Not three ghosts. Uh, that was so last week. Bah humbug. <laughs> harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of Carol. Harumph! Sorry, harumph. <laughs> you watch your ass. All right, Blake, Carol, opinions on the group share creation process. Clearly, I've never done one before because I know that my ideas are superior. Man, no, obviously. 
That's why you created that wonderful thing without any help whatsoever from this guy. I was going to say, I'm like, uh, I would have created my own tables uh, had I been given the opportunity to. We went into that having no fucking clue what we were doing. I Best gave you the opportunity to create tables. I gave you my table sheet. I was going to say, I have Frank's table sheet. And you use I none of the table sheet? I, I wanted to roll off of Frank's tables. He yeah, because Frank's table sheet is way better and there's no rot grubs, dick. You gave Carol <laughs> rot grubs, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> and Carol always <sighs> dies on my character, or on what? my transition sheet. What? What? Hey, by the way, Frank, I did give you a backstory for Taryn, so... What are you yeah, not- but you're only a minor player. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My background is going to kill your background, it's like, Carol. It's like a dog walking on its hind legs. She thinks she's people. <laughs> Kyle gave me, I think, seven pages in an appendix. <laughs> yeah. I, can give you, I told you I could give you three I books. I gave you 37 <laughs> different personas. <laughs> I I got Kyle with the encyclopedia, Kyle and Sybil. (laughs) (laughs) I think I'm trying personality 23 today, Frank. Hold on, let me roll it. Yep. (laughs) Proficient in whatever the fuck we were about to do. Oh my god. (laughs) This one's a sailor. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) That would be clever. No, I actually had about five pages of backstory, but I didn't think you'd really want to read that much backstory for a minor character. So I'll, I'll, I'll go back and look at my deleted items and take a look. <laughs> uh, I, I think, I, I, think it's been, it. I think it's been more than thirty days since we first uh, saw Taryn. Sorry, uh, sorry, Taryn. Uh, sure, we'll go with that. <laughs> yeah, we'll deal with it if I ever do come into the game for realsies. Mm. All right, but let's get on with the actual um, thing that we're supposed to be doing. Honestly, yeah. I didn't write any of it down other than the stuff I sent you, and that was utter crap to begin with. Just to <laughs> throw will, you I off. Go ahead and in, in, in interject without asking for permission. Sure. Uh, uh, something, uh, something like having an intrigue game uh, where there is a lot of social interaction and where there is going to be a lot of R O L E playing. Uh, if, if you find yourself in a uh, in a group that does a lot of heavy uh, combat, and there's some people that just seem to be uh, been maxers. Well, I, I was I was going to say, uh, yeah, just uh, going along with it. Uh, you you may want to you may find yourself. Uh, uh, wanting to throw in a social uh, uh, session or aspect to it just to try and see if maybe they're not there to uh, actually uh, do their do their repertoire of uh, impersonations or what have you instead of actually just going, okay, I roll a 20, I hit the ogre, yay, woo! That sounded like a pitch for your... Uh shitty name dropping go go see the murder of the doge (laughs) (laughs) man it is the best show you will ever watch guarantee and it finished on time two hours and successfully (laughs) yes it had it all power (laughs) intrigue bloodshed the brady boys it had it all and an effeminate weirdo uh stripper bouncer kicking somebody in the balls i believe and uh, every fire there was a yeah. fire jesus christ was in that show and a medusa a yeah. <laughs> oh my God. i guess i have to watch that episode huh? human, human, human human shields G- yeah oh yeah had it all folks it, it, i laughed oh, oh, i and, cried and, i couldn't get enough and and hookers <laughs> and hookers and the, so, the sisters stabbing ernie it had everything. I okay, okay, like that sold me. I can now. I was going to say, can we can we just replay the murder of the Doge? Yeah, yeah. All right. Good night, everybody. We're going to switch <laughs> over to the murder of the Doge. You YouTube guys have archive, a good night. folks. <laughs> Bring in the new year with the Doge. All right. So, uh, because no one else wanted to plan anything, 
I created something. I'm going to have these three people uh, help create some of the NPCs that are going to show on there. I'm not going to take full credit, though, just in case it sucks. This is Frank's Murder Hobo Incorporated thing. <laughs> Has his brand all over it. Oh, 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 oh is it like uh, Sid Meier's Civilization? Yes. Uh, <laughs> No. <laughs> Obviously, clearly, it is not. <laughs> or I'm sorry, I was thinking of Russ Meyer. My apologies, Sid. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the one shot that we're going to start with today is political intrigue. I'm sorry, I can't help but smile. You guys are making me laugh so much. <laughs> lay, lay off of the ecstasy, Kyle. <laughs> oh gosh, but it makes my toots M- feel M- good. MDMA is a hell of a drug. And after four hours, see a physician. Or tell everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Go over to Harry's and helicopter. <laughs> you well, help you know, that it, with, you can't helicopter with a hard on, goddammit. That's true. It's more like a laser pointer <laughs> or a two by four. Nail it to the floor. <laughs> Penis. <laughs> penis <laughs> and that will get you kicked out don't ask me how i know i'm just telling you that will get you thrown out of harry's no i think that's a lesson our viewers should have to learn for themselves <laughs> <laughs> that's right guys just find harry's take your ecstasy you'll find out someday Jesus. <laughs> all right let's Campus go ahead bars are the best <laughs> Let's railroad through this real fast. So the one shot we're creating, it's a political intrigue one shot. Essentially, what's the story so far is that there's a kingdom of the valley known as Valifornia, uh, where King Dave Navarro uh, oh my rules. God. <laughs> yeah, I can come up with funny names, too. Your ass clan. <laughs> for, 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 for those of you uh, looking for uh, ideas for your NPCs, go back and watch our NPC creation show where we said to come up with pop culture references. <laughs> I, I say, I say, Blake is correct. <laughs> Dave Navarro. Wow. I said, Hashtag I said, Dave Navarro. Pop, I said pop culture, <laughs> not foghorn like horn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is pop culture in my age. <laughs> Any anyway, the kingdom the of California, Roosevelt administration, <laughs> <laughs> the kingdom of California is being attacked by Yuanti from the swamps. They are bizarre, mystic, sex infused cults that have slowly taken over California with their uh, uh, red hot fires and <laughs> rampant fornication, rampant fornication turning loud music and <laughs> <off> <laughs> the lawn. <laughs> this rock and roll music will not stand <laughs> wait is this why there's so many is this why the earth is shaking out there rock and roll and fornication that's always worked for me but then again I have high seduction skills dream of rock and fornication <laughs> So what with all the Valifornication <coughs> going on there, the kingdom's uh, armies have been losing almost every single battle they have come across this. When all of a sudden, in this last <coughs> battle, when the entire army was about to be swept away, a group of four heroic PCs were able to hoard off the sex-crazed uh, army for long enough that... <laughs> They were able to be saved. Let, 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 let's, let's say three PCs because we're, we're, there's only three of us. I'm worth two. <laughs> well, you guys aren't the PCs. You're the NPCs later on. The PCs oh. make the PCs. Yeah. No, we're the PCs. Oh, that's I, right, because like, we're supposed to make up shit about them. Oh, that's exactly. Right. Got you it. Screw each other over, guys. Come on. But then how do we screw over the PCs? Oh, you'll see in about two minutes. I've got an idea. <laughs> <laughs> anyway and that's where your one shot will begin <laughs> where you will have your party roll d12s the two highest uh get to be extra special because they were extra heroic meanwhile the two low rollers 
aren't idiots and they realize that in order for every single battle to have been lost, there had to be traitors somewhere in the upper echelons. That's that dictionary I got. For that, that, seems, that, that seems a bit too, too logical for a couple of morans to figure out. Exactly. Aaron Morans. Huh? Huh? Yeah. Pop culture. Aaron Moran. Richie Cunningham's sister for you youngins. What about Rick Moran is? What about what what about Cindy Lauper? <laughs> she just wants to have fun. Leave her alone. I well she 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 likes to bomb. Anyways, so she in order bombed. to celebrate their heroics in the kingdom's last siege, last stand. Um, a festival is thrown to mourn the loss and celebrate the new heroes that have arisen and hopefully inspire hope into the rest of the blah 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 kingdom and the, the, the whole the whole feed from a new hope yeah exactly will <laughs> earth wind fire and water be plain or no no but avatar heart, is no, not no, gonna no be but 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 heart will oh that's right. <laughs> Good God. Because I'm a magic man. After this, you're going piece. to the roller rink. <laughs> Unless the judge gets there first. Oh, my God. <laughs> Lost control, ha- people. Happy New Year. Hell, you would have had to have had control to use it. That is true. I prefer to let you guys go. I, I know how it is. Next Anyways, week's show will be from Tippecanoe County Jail. Shut up, Frank. <laughs> he doesn't know how accurate he is. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, your PCs have one evening to figure out who the traitor is. Because they're lowly soldiers, they can't make wild accusations. They have to have proof when they present it to King Navarro. And so that's where this party begins. And we will go on to I have a die. I'm going to roll. Hey, Frank, you go first with your ass clan. <laughs> well, the your Hold ass on to your clan. asses, guys. The your ass clan is led by Wampa, your ass. He is the guild master of the blacksmithing guild. And he is going to come into direct contact with two of the PCs. One who is not a suspect and one that is. And he is going to trade them weapons befitting their newfound heroics only one of those weapons is going to be earmarked or stamped with the sigil of the enemy boom (laughs) (laughs) fucking somebody and odd it's going to be a hero even it's going to be a bad guy even bad guy i'm setting him up okay and any other members of your uh, clan there that might cause some trouble for the PCs and just generally Spank, rowdy? Spank of your ass is a noted alcoholic. Uh, she is the godmother of it. She is going to drink excessively and then attempt to depict uh, certain uh, artistic designs out of King Navarro's arm. Uh, Kissa, their eldest daughter, and accomplished warrior we'll go ahead and hit on she likes the good guys so she's gonna hit on one of the good guys and if she is scorned they're gonna be trouble in the in where are we valifornia valifornia yeah that's those are my three those are your three and who's your villain out of those three Uh, all right unless all of them are and why are they working for the (laughs) yuan Kissa, Kissa is going to be the villain, although Wampa appears to be the villain, because Kissa is going to set up a pregnancy scare. <laughs> I remember, I remember that, I remember that session. <laughs> oh <You're> my <God>. welcome. <laughs> might, might I advise having a cleric on hand to turn the? Uh, to Where is up? Josh Tamlin when you need him? <laughs> I'm like when, whenever, whenever you need a pregnant woman turned into jealousy, might I recommend? Might I recommend? <laughs> oh my god, that is so wrong. So that is my recap. <laughs> Kissa, 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 your ass is the bad guy. 
Wampa is just trying to extend his control and spank at your ass. She's just getting hammered because it's celebration time. <laughs> All right. Carol, you have a house of uh, changelings, I think you said. I didn't actually catch the name of it because I was talking name. over you and then Traylon. For, no, for the record, that was going to go with straight names, but since we've decided to go that route, so my house is a house of spies and rogues um, who have their fingers everywhere and they're, as well as their eyes and ears. Hopefully they're with the your ass clan. <laughs> they're with the king, so they, they, they have the ear of uh, King Navarro. Um, they are, of course, now they are the Bond clan. The the father of Bond, course, Bond clan. I, I, I expect Brosnan or uh, 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 more. I was just gonna go with I was just gonna go with uh, Jameis is the father. They are yes, they are a family of changelings, so they can get in and out of situations rather easily, as we all know when we've watched. Except now, magic magically, everyone seems to have a monocle that has a gem of truth in it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure, at a level. What level is this? I don't even know what level this is supposed to be. But, level uh, four, in case you guys were wondering. They're, they're, they're established, yeah, see, they're established heroes, fresh from the fresh from the war. They're, they're, Rob, they're Robin of Loxley, returned from the Crusades. So, anyways, they've got pretty much, they have a lot of knowledge. So, um, the mother, who was going to be Iris, is now, of course, Penny. Octopus. Oh, Penny. Penny. I'm going with the characters here, not the actors. One of them, one of them had better be named after Pussy Galore. <laughs> I believe that's where Kiss of Your Ass comes in. <laughs> <laughs> I need to figure out that who with the main cast, the main the main players who have been in there, like most all the movies, and then of course their son who is the oh yeah she she's a basically she's a bard who's good at charming people from their secrets, um <clears throat> and then there is their their son is the muscle, um he is known as Q Q U Q U E U E. You. Um, so, am I actually supposed to come up with like, what? The like, like, like when you line up to go pay a bank teller. <laughs> so, wait, question: Am I actually supposed sure. to come? What I'm supposed to bake up? Like, what they're doing at this party? You know what? Yeah, absolutely. What are they doing at this party? And do they have any uh, secrets that they've stolen from House Philia or the Earth Your Ass Clan? I'm sure they have. But oh, tell me what they are. Screw them over. Oh, oh, make sense. Yeah, put yeah. your finger in everything. Yeah, put your finger in someone's pie here. All right. Put your finger so, in the area I'm, 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 I'm going to say kiss I'm your ass. Sticky, sweet. And it's all right. I'm not nearly as good as these, you know, these guys are at making up this sort of shit. Um, well, that's only because we're good at triple u you, endo. I don't even know what the sad thing is. I don't even know what, remember what the third family is. Um, that's because I haven't gone yet. <laughs> exactly. So how can I make up anything? Uh, Housephilia. You could have been paying attention. And during make up reading. anything. Make Blake <laughs> come up with something. It's, it's pronounced Philea. It oh, I apologize. Is King Navarre, is there a queen? No. Why is there no. got to be, be a queen? Why no. Can't there be a queen? If there's a queen. If you want there to be a queen, there's a queen. I okay, we queen Freddie Mercury. Say, well, you know, as that's as queen as ever. Having an illicit relationship, I'd say somebody from Blake's uh, family. Actually, I do kind of remember what it was. It was Van <clears throat> Delver? Don't, don't, don't go tipping my hand, woman. Hey, you know what? We're supposed to screw each other over, so too bad. You can, you can, you can, you can, you can blame someone. Don't give away my names. My my jokes are mine. <laughs> so one of the one of the male one of the males from the uh, yeah he's he's yeah he's actually he's philandering all right with the king. Why is it a man? Carol? I was going to say, why can't it be a woman? Well, fortunately, not? fortunately, my house has no men. Oh, oh really? Oh, now it does. Wampa says hello. Wait, yeah, one of the, one of the, I, 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 I can, I can run with that. I no, I will run with that. One's a cross dresser. One is trans. I think that would actually be really cool. 
One oh, gosh, is who is that British crossdresser fella? Eddie is. Is he British? Eddie is. Eddie, Eddie is. Yes. Mr. Bean. Transvestite. <laughs> and 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 my house knows which one it is. Um, oh. As for the secret, uh, let's see. Oh God. The it's grandmother is actually a goat. <laughs> no, I won't do a that. Really I mean, drunk. Should have been a dead giveaway, but. <laughs> hey, I'm a mountain dwarf. You leave my grandmother out of this shit. <laughs> I'm thinking one of the what is it? One of the uh, what the hell is your clan? Something what ass? <laughs> the, the, the your ass. Your ass. It's right there. Your on, uh, the your put ass. your finger right in your ass, and you know. Diddle hey, with wait it. a minute. That's a <laughs> nephew. <laughs> Finger your ass as a nephew. <laughs> One of the members of the your ass clan is is been um has been caught with uh, having a having a relationship with uh, one of the uh, our enemies. Of that yes, uh, she'll do anybody. What what, what <laughs> kind of wow. what kind of relationship? Yeah, it's the real, or maybe all of them. I mean, you know, if the, oh, she's not that much of a tramp. <laughs> no, 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 Jesus. <laughs> What, 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 what kind of a relationship? How how in no. depth? Physical. How how in depth? I was gonna say it doesn't have to be one of your three. It's just somebody in your clan. Right. I'm saying, but I'm asking you how. What kind of a relationship? Uh, mm -hmm. like, a, like a superficial tryst, or is this a devoted companion? Oh no, I was gonna go with devoted companion. Actually, that's that oh. is what I'm going with. She don't this, play that shit. <laughs> she likes Shakespeare. <laughs> She's ripping right off of Romeo and Juliet there. All right. And you if one up. of your, Carol, if one of your three is the villain, or maybe the entire house is a villain in this case, why are they betraying California and King Navarro and Queen Mercury? Knowledge is power. They would do either they would do it for the money or the secrets that the other side is providing. Do it for the vine. Say it'd be the secret. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> Blake, your house is diddling queen. Uh, my, my, my house, my house is a house of ill repute. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How are they contributing to the war? Just out of curiosity. <laughs> hey, are you familiar with what a camp follower is? Uh, I think I've heard Captain Hooker. I've seen his statue. Uh, yeah. k yeah. Kiss yeah. of your yeah. ass knows what a camp follower is. <laughs> yes, uh, there, there, are, there are certain uh, ladies of the evening that go along uh, to, uh, like, like how there would be a medic tent, there would be a morale tent. Okay. <laughs> Not moral, morale. Morale. The moral yeah. ten is right next door, and they do a lesser restoration spell to clean you of all those well, bugs. Well, well, no, well, no. I do also. Uh, one of one of uh, several members of of my house do happen to be clerics, so they, so they, they 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 can absolutely perform a lesser restoration hand job. Kiss of your ass would like to speak with them after the party. <laughs> uh, I bet you I could remove some rock rubs from at you. the stop of the, at the top of the <laughs> stairs. But but no, my house is uh, House Philea, uh, which is uh, headed by uh, Madame Necra, uh, who happens to be an assassin. She she's an older woman. She's she's the grand dame. Um, she is uh, here to watch out for her girls. Uh, her her second in command is uh, a. Daring young halfling named Pedo, uh, who happens to be a bard, uh, who is very skilled at the flute. Wait, I thought you said they were all women. Yes, you changed it, Carol. What are you doing? Oh, oh yeah, but but he would look like a woman. No, no, necessarily. No, no, no. Ped, Peda, Peda. Don't be a hater, Carol. Pedo. <laughs> Ped Pedo is a very skilled halfling who is skilled at the flute, but does enjoy a good pantomime because she finds that she gets more clientele when she's in drag. Oh, oh nice. Uh, nice. Okay, uh, someone explain that to Frank. He looks confused. No, I, I, 
I'm trying to figure out how to fuck him over with that one. <laughs> <laughs> waiting to also do drag. Uh, and the third in command is going to be a uh, a uh, a simple human woman uh, that goes by the name of Capra, uh, and she is a cleric of the uh, uh, cult of Golgotha. The shit demon. Nice touch. And uh, they are here because they have also garnered several secrets uh, from their time on the battlefield and from the pillow talk garnered uh, after a good romp. Because my, my house, I have established, controls the area down by the docks. Uh, and by house, it's not necessarily a, a genetic line. It's more of a the family you choose kind of thing. So that's why Necra is very, very uh, protective of her girls. It's She's, the best little whorehouse in California. I was going to say, she is Dolly Parton from the best little whorehouse in Texas. <laughs> all right. And what dirt does your... Uh, I mean, pillow talk happens all the my, time. My, uh, uh, during one of her, her in particular trysts, uh, as a man... Uh, Pedo has learned that uh, the prince uh, is also cavorting with the enemy. Oh, okay. Uh, and by cavorting, I mean the only reason he was fucking Pedo was because it was too far away to go get to Prince Cumberbund. No, don't you don't you mean Prince this? <laughs> it's a symbol, huh? Yeah, I, I can't. Oh, oh, the 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 art the, uh, the 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 monarch formerly known as Prince. There you go. Oh, the monarch in waiting, formerly known as Prince. We didn't make a gnomish rape joke, so I didn't catch that you were talking well, about. Well, yeah, and we didn't even get to we didn't even get to rape because there hasn't been a theft of services yet. <laughs> yet, but but but. but uh, None of my house is necessarily going to be... Uh, my, my house is neither uh, loyal nor traitorous, but should should uh, any suspicion fall on them, they will all collectively turn villainous. Okay. Because they're out. Fuck you, got mine. <laughs> Literally. And if they are the actual intentional traitors in this and they're just writing it out to the end why are they writing it out to the end uh because what, what's the other side doing for them the other side the other side is offering them uh safe harbor and a lot more money <laughs> all right king they're essentially offering offering them not only control of the docks, but control of the town once it's taken over. <laughs> uh, your ass. <laughs> well, no, 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 no. That's that, but that's only if that's the situation. That's otherwise, that's not the situation. Right. But but yeah, but only if they only if you roll that they actually are going to be villainous. Then yes, they, they're they're in it because. They, they, want, they want to rule with an iron pussy. <laughs> really clamp down on on all their subjects. Might I, might I suggest all of our viewers Google Benoit Balls? Who's he? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my oh my god. All right, so there you have it, folks. There's three houses with all different reasons to traitor. Uh, some of you kind of got what I was going for. Some of you did not. That's fine. We're almost tell running out. Tell us which out. ones did. Tell us which ones didn't. I suppose I did throw everyone else under the bus last time, but not this time. I, I think anyway. Blake got it. <laughs> yeah. I always get it. It kind of yeah. does. All right, so we all know PCs are not very subtle, and there is what? a part. When, when did this happen? I know, right? It's not like we were discussing this five minutes ago or anything like that. 
but as the one shot goes, there's a beginning to this party where everyone is very somber um, and is memorizing uh, uh, all the people who have died. I, uh, my, my, I, I would like to point out my house is not acting somber. My house is uh, reveling merrily, almost as if uh, during a bacchanalia, because they are, uh, uh, again, their main purpose during the war effort is morale. Sure. I'm screwing over, getting drunk, and screwing. Those are my three people. I'm not somber at all. <laughs> Nor am I su subtle. <laughs> I was going to say, so you, you, you've taken a couple of my nieces out of the equation. Bum, bum, bum. The first part of the festival is technically a somber one, where the PCs are going to be able to associate with some of the lower members of the houses in attempt to bargain their way up and talk to Wampa, Necra, and James's. James. No, 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 no. I'm going with James's. So that's weirder. <laughs> I, I do enjoy the plural. Yeah. James's. Okay. Twice the man. The secret between House Bond is that James's was a twin, but he ate it. And if you take off his shirt, there on his shoulder is another face. Oh, James. Yeah. Those that's right, teeth. James there were, is. There were, in, in, in the lump on my back, there were teeth and head. <laughs> and that's why he's James's plural. Ha, take that, Carol. Anyway, <laughs> at that point, depending on how so. I, I, I do actually want to chime in, though. No, she did have sure. a very good creative, creative concept, and I don't yeah. want to take away from that at all. Absolutely. Okay. Agreed. Just getting to the next part here. First part is somber. The party gets led away, and depending on how subtle they were, the villain knows that they're on to them and decides to have them killed. How dun, do... Dun, dun. <sighs> how are the houses killing the PCs? Sexually. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I, I'm wow, pretty cool. I was sexually all three houses. Suffocation. Fine. No, no breathing. A poison. That beard will it, 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 fill their actually, mouth. I actually, that was the one instance where I was going to choose something beyond that. Mm. <laughs> poison. I poison their drinks. Blake, Sorry. if you were going something other than sexual, are you keeping it that way? Uh, another one of the cross-dressing members, uh, 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 Yura. Nice. Uh, cousin is, Yura? <laughs> yes, cousin, cousin Yurophilia. Uh, is, uh, going to make a full-blown, uh, uh, sneak attack. Because she happens to be an assassin. Nice. Sure. Because you never know when you're going to piss yourself. I do, constantly. Oh my! So, so no, she she is going to lay in, lay in wait and uh, uh, try and try and wait for someone to excuse themselves because it's a it's a it's a festival. There's there's reverie. There's yeah. there's libations. Sooner or later, someone's going to have to use the piss boy. Yeah, sure. Oh, piss boy. <laughs> so as the PCs are being separated Actually, she from is everybody, disguised as the piss boy. Oh, oh my. Mm, All right. That's clever. I'm getting a whole clue vibe of Jane Whedon. <laughs> <laughs> All right. PCs are led away. They were attempted, assassinated. They failed, and they end up rejoining the party subtly because, you know, they don't want to cause a stir and have the villain reveal themselves too soon. Festivities begin, and the party members are going to be able to cavort with the higher members. I, I'm, I'm going to go ahead them. and say right off the bat that I would roll even odd whether she was acting rogue or under the command of Necra. Sure. Okay. Yeah, that works. Um, it, it, it offers a different timeline if the players get too hinky on you. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I would, I would, I would, because... Uh, in, in my in my mind, in my concept, Yura mm -hmm. would be at least a known member of House Philia. And uh, the dice giveth, and the dice taketh away. So, so I so I would want to give the opportunity for her to be acting rogue, 
so as not to draw full attention to housephilia in general. No, makes perfect sense. And, you know, yeah. the PCs are, if they're smart, are going to try and take her alive. She also has a cyanide capsule in her pussy. Oh, snap. That's... Don't let her clamp down! <laughs> which, 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 if, if... That is not the orifice I was going to guess. <laughs> which, 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 One if, of the PCs if, is going to be Toronto Dump. Which, which... <laughs> which, 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 which <laughs> Don't let her clamp with down! A with a successful or unsuccessful role could mm-hmm. lead to the discovery of a corpse. Sure. <laughs> yeah, that, that as is, it dangles. Is, well, no, that, that is going to have to be explained. Unless, oh, of course, shit. just toss him down the pisser. But it's no, a small she, bucket, she, Kyle. She, she, is, she is the pisser. Uh, you know, royalty is weird with their golden showers deals. Um, <laughs> I am so glad this decade's almost over. <laughs> but, but, but no, I, no, no. I'm actually trying to be serious about this. Logistically, mm-hmm. like, like, no. She, she's the the, the royal bedpan emptier. Mm-hmm. Uh, and on a on a successful or on an unsuccessful assassination attempt, she would try to uh, fall on her sword, and should. Uh, that that would throw an opportunity for the PCs to either have to dispose of a body or leave a body to be discovered. And you leave it to the dice. They give it and they take it away. Because finding finding a body could be very uh, disruptive to the uh, festivities. And, you know, cause your PCs to... All right, so the PC is eventually but, rejoined. I, I, well, no, I'm actually curious. Thoughts, thoughts on, on that line of thinking? I would oh, go no, with a good. sommelier instead of a piss boy. Well, I, yeah, I'm, be, I'm, I'm being hyper, hyper, hyperbolic, <laughs> but yeah. That's along the lines more like what I was thinking. Hey, it's not bad. Um, the only thing I would be concerned about is complicating something that's already so complicated further, but it's on there and definitely have it as a dice roll. I think that's well, the, well, I, I do like the dead body appearance though, because that does uh, offer, uh, I guess, uh, apprehension or tension to the if, if there isn't already suspicion within the room that, that, that forces it. Yeah. There you go. It's a red herring, just <laughs> like communism. And her pussy. I, I told oh. the producer that I would throw out the clue reference and I did. I'm going to go home and have sex with my wife. (laughs) Mine has to wash her hair. (laughs) Anyway, so the PCs either survived the assassination attempt or were subtle enough that they didn't even cause it to happen. They come back after being applauded as heroes thanks to the Bard halftime show, and you know, if there are bards and species, they could participate. I was, I was going in to that. say, Pet, Pedo, Pedo is there just playing the skin flute. Oh, just, oh yeah. Just, just, just a rusty trombone, even occasionally. That, I am going to Cleveland personal all over him. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and then finale the king wants to knight your PCs. At which point the PCs either didn't come down to a knighting. Yeah. Night. I, I, I like like no, I, I wouldn't have it come down to that. I would because we haven't had the time to interact with the heads of house yet. Oh, ideally, so as we're talking about it, we had the somber part of the festival, which is the morning. The PCs are asked to leave, whereas there is a barred halftime show that goes into the morning and then goes to the f- uh, more festive, all right, you know, hey, despite everyone who died. The first part of the day is a remembrance. The second part of the day is a celebration. Exactly. And that's where they will um, 
talk with the higher members of the households if they had a chance to um, um, deal with the I, lowers I, I, well I'm enough to get up there. I'm curious to see how, how everyone would, would play out that, that interaction because we kind of you, you were trying to kind of gloss over that. I think yeah, that's sure. the, you want to go the for bulk. It. I think that's the bulk of the scenario right there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I but let again, you guys talk too much at the beginning. We're let not in a we're not in a hurry, God damn it, Kyle. We, we, uh, we even though we're running late, we're Carl's, uh, Carol's the only one in a hurry and she doesn't count because she's on green screen. Oh, green so. <laughs> thing. <laughs> forever, okay? So, I mean, we could try to just quickly do this. All right. Carol, how Blake, would you I'm going to start it? with you first. Oh, okay. uh, yeah. So, Blake, the PCs have come back. Either they have been attempted to be assassinated, they have not. They have gained uh, enough interactions with your lower, with uh, Capra and Pedo, that they are able to talk to Necra. What extra information are they gathering that may either lead them in the wrong direction, lead them in the right direction? And what's the cost for all this? What's Necra getting out of it? Uh, if if they were successful in talking to Capra, they would they would learn that uh, 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 Prince, uh, or I'm sorry, the 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 monarch in waiting, formerly known as Prince, uh, has been cavorting with the enemy, and that the uh, line of succession is potentially uh, corrupted. Uh, but had they have been successful with Pedo, uh, they would have learned that she just wants to be a real boy and that she is willing to sell out even the head of her house who has protected her through all of these years to get that, to get that plastic surgery because she just wants a dare. <laughs> Now, is there any different information, say, if it's not your house that's causing the uh, um, the invasion to happen, but, say, uh, house bond? Uh, I, I, would, I would say on a roll of 10 or higher, they would learn that, uh, well, depending, uh, I, I would make them roll to see who they're engaging with. Mm-hmm. Uh, if if it's a ten or higher, they're going to get useful information. Uh, nine or lower, or, or nine, yeah, nine or lower. It's going to be a red herring, and I'll give them their charisma bonus or modifier uh, to uh, to that as well. Sure. Um, so ba basically, it's whether you're going to get to talk to Pedo or Capra, or if you're going to get to talk to, or if you're going to have to talk to Yura, or or heaven forbid. Even uh, Necro, beast, be, be, no Bestia, because because Necro's up on. <laughs> okay, hey Kyle, this is why I hate <laughs> this style of play. <laughs> I, yeah, so, no, I knew so, it was complicated, and I can always just say screw whatever you guys said, and I'll just make my own. So nine or lower, talking talking to the the the, the dregs, the uh, they're going to learn <coughs> they're going to learn a vague secret that uh, they're, they're uh, like Bestia is going to like have told a story of an encounter that she had with someone that is vaguely uh, reminiscent of the description of one of the monarchs, but is totally not because she only saw him from behind because they were going at doggy style. Obviously, she's bestia. Obviously. All right. Anything else to add? But, but, but uh, a roll of 10 or higher, they're going to learn uh, that... Finga uh, has actually had aspirations on the throne. Finga, your ass? Correct. Oh, interesting. Leave my cousin out of this. All right. So we have if Carol ends up being the villain, you find some information. If it ends up being the your ass clan, Finga wants to be on top of the throne. Interesting. 
At least that's what uh, well, I'm getting. No, at. no, 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 no. I was, I wasn't specifically, uh, I wasn't specifically throwing Carol under the bus. That, that was, that was, that was a total red herring. That they're going to accuse some other random lower level that that was vaguely, vaguely uh, descriptive of one of the monarchs. Oh, okay. okay. All because, right. Because again, like I said, she only saw him from behind for a fleeting moment. It was a quickie. Okay, Carol. Yep. PCs have decided to leave the Felias alone, and they've managed to talk to uh, Doxer and Iris. Actually, I forgot. Penny. Penny was your second in command. Yeah, I don't was, remember what you called the muscle. Uh, Jaws. Jaxer. Jaxer that's uh, right. I still that's say that should be Jaws. Yeah, it's Jaws. Jaws. Oh my God, you're right. It should be. But all right. <laughs> It's too late now. Originally, it was Loris, Iris, and Jaxer, if you really want the, and it was Tralian. Since I went with normal names. Mm -hmm. um, so let's start off with, if you end hey, up being. Hey, 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 hey. I know plenty of people named pedophilia. <laughs> oh, let's wait. start off with, if your ass clan ends up being the villains in this, specifically Kissa and Finga. What information does the party learn from yours? What does it cost them to get it? What do they find uh, oh, out? Oh, oh and, go, and going back to mine. All Jesus! It costs, all, 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 all Step costs. over Carol again. <laughs> oh, no, well, well, no, no. I, 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 all it costs is gold. Oh, gold, yeah. Yeah, I, that's right. You did not get a chance to that. And basically, that's the same for me, too. It's, it's well, actually, gold or I'll trade for information that I don't know. Good luck with that. Or gold. Well, I mean, supposedly the party has been gathering information and secrets from some yep. of the lower hands. So, so they'll have something to trade, ideally. And if so not, there's always favors. So basically, if... Lady favors. <laughs> basically, if it was your ass clan, I would put it out there that one of their clan is having a relationship with the enemy. We make it a fairly high ranking member of the enemy too. Um, I didn't need to, if it was if it was a philanderer there. Uh, actually, I'll add one more thing to our, our our trans our former boy or still a boy or whatever. Pedo, uh, pedo, pedo, pedo. actually is not from here. He is from she. The, she. She. Okay, she wants to be she. Pedo is no, no, no. From, she, she, she is a, she is a she. She just finds she gets more. She, she, she gets more. Uh, more <laughs> I know. I would like to get through this. Go back to my party. No, uh, absolutely and, not. You're the only one with a life, Carol. Suck it up. <laughs> I'm the only one not respecting the fact that one of my characters is rough trade. <laughs> I was just saying, Pedo or somebody else is actually from the enemy land. So, and that was, a, a, which is what I would come up with thinking, I actually, right, I need to screw you in that way. Um, and hey, that's know, my cousin too. And you know what, if I'm the, and, and if I'm the villain, I would pick, I would probably roll a dice to see which piece of misinformation I would give. So who would get screwed? Yeah, sure. No, that works great. Yeah, I would, uh, I would still, same info. But different purpose. Okay. And Frank? yeah, money or ah, secret. God damn it, she's talking again. Go. I'm done. Frank, what's it uh, cost to get secrets? And if it's the Philia or the Bonses, what's the information they find out and what's it cost? If it's the Philia clan, it's because they have uh, not allowed Kissa, your ass, to go ahead and enjoy her proclivities. Uh, because they are bullies and call her a slut when she is just a freelance lover. If they, it's... Would, they would never call her a slut, they would call her a scab. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. And, and so, that... if it's the Philia clan, it's yeah, just but... a wild based claim. You yeah, insulted Frank... me once, so you're obviously the traitor. Correct, because. Frank, how are you talking them to the, other, to the enemies? 
That's well, Wampa, because they're jerks. Who cares? <laughs> Wampa is the head of the Armorers Guild. He's supplying both sides, man. He's making money hand over ass. Uh-huh. So you're making money on top of money. Yeah. Exactly. So That's- I'm just trying to go with the cash. I'm with you guys. I'm just going for the cash. But if you insult my daughter, Kissa. I'm coming after your ass. And that's why the Felia clan is a problem. Now, Carol's clan, uh, the Bond clan, I just don't like fucking spies. <laughs> well, no, no. Why, why would I have a problem with Kissa? Because Kissa gives it away for free. And that cuts into your uh, bottom uh, profit line. margin. Okay. Oh, so, so I, would be, I would be telling stories that, no, she gives a toothy blowjob. Toothy blowjob, or eh, you might want to see the cleric afterwards. Gotcha. With Carol, the Bond clan, uh, we know that she can just change at a moment's notice, and we no, don't be no, that, that, I, I, I don't like, think that's public talent. That's a secret. Oh, your ass. <laughs> I, yeah, that, that's not typically public knowledge. Well, you know what? I would have to say that uh, Spanka, the matron of the family, would probably have a problem with Carol's Bond family. Uh, most of all, Jaxer, her young lover, uh, who has scorned her because of her alleged age restriction. Therefore, uh, we're going to wipe out the Bond yeah, clan. Jax, if Jax, we're the villains... Jax, it's... Jax, 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 your ass? <laughs> I'm sorry. So, <laughs> what I found out is that the Philae clan has information on the ass and the Bond clan as to why they're the traitors. Same with the Bonds. They know why each of your clan. But if your ass is innocent and they talk to you, it's, I don't like either of these guys. I don't care if they're traitors or not. Screw them over. Exactly. We're mountain dwarves. <laughs> we take care of ourselves. And, and, We're and, family. And in, that, and in that case, prevent, presenting that information to the monarch would result in the players being beheaded either way. Exactly. So it's yeah. a win-win-win for me. <laughs> Mike, I, or, at least, or at least it would be a very high DC persuasion check. Because Necro yes. is really going to have four new uh, members of her stable. So, yeah, that that is how you know, I... You know, you, know, you know I'm always looking to fill up my stable. Oh, you know what? Uh, you can always make new friends, especially if you have a necromancer around. But yeah, this is this hey, is Dad, why. Daddy's, Daddy's, a boy and, Daddy's a boy, and boys can go broke, but a woman will always have something to sell. Exactly. But hey, see, th- re- this is this was why I do not like the political aspect because, and again, maybe I'm just anal retentive or just a micromanager anal. as a DM. You have to think very quickly on your feet in order to go ahead and keep everybody in check because but what I was, what I was something like this is actually having enough enough uh, friends and compatriots to run these NPCs. Sure. Or if you like to do voices, then yeah. you get to be everyone. Yeah, all right. So Multiple I- personality disorder. You're great for political intrigues. Okay. <laughs> I also still I still contest that that does not exist. That's not what your other you said. I don't the remember that. These have now had a chance to speak with the higher ranks. They've gathered the information. The king is about to knight them, and that is when they decide to make their move as to present their evidence as to why it's clearly your ass who is the traitor. Because <laughs> she's a slut. Because she's a <laughs> slut. <laughs> My God, Kissa has been found out. With, there's nothing wrong with giving it away for free. Like I, I, I would, oh, like, whoa, 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 whoa! In the Filia clan, there is no, no, there absolutely isn't. If 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 if, if your hobby is your job, you'll never do it. You'll never work a day in your life. Wow. <laughs> All right, but 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 no, these women, these women do it because they because they have to they're 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 not in it because they're not in it for the joy of fucking they're in it because they, they, like every hand job they give is just through gritted teeth 
Hey, Kyle, when exactly was this thing on rails? Because it is. It was, I told you this was going to end up being free flowy. I had no real plan. Really Just like kisses, uh, kissing your and ass. Somehow you, somehow you sent out an outline. That was so, the best I could potentially do. Huh? All right, real quick. Your ass. You end up being the traitors this time around. Uh, Wampa has been fingered for warmongering. Kissa is sleeping uh, with the uh, enemy. Uh, 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 uh. Uh -huh. I will take all of the fingering around here. I apologize. Uh. I didn't mean to step on any of your toes or fingers. Yo, I'm a quarter. Or, or later. How does your clan, because at this point it sounds like all of them are going to end up being the villains, if one of them is... How do they deal with the reveal? Is there anything special? Because at this point, we've been doing a lot of talking. We've had an assassination attempt, which is going to be pretty lackluster if the assassin ends up rolling bad. And there's a couple PCs who just want to get in a really good fight, really good brawl. This is how we end it and kind of round everything out. And That's I'm why speaking I had for my snatch. <coughs> And we'll talk about that as soon as we're done. <laughs> How are the Uras villains ending this political intrigue and making it interesting? Being mountain dwarves uh, and members of great. Whoa, 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 wait. Are they mountain dwarves this They're whole time? Dwarves. The whole time. Oh my god! I thought they were halflings. Okay, nope. I'm sorry. I don't do halflings. Oh, no, they're 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 smites. Uh, they uh, since they control the armor guild. They know that everybody knows they make the best shit. They will pretty much blackmail everybody into, hey, you're going to help, or we won't be able to build the armor that I, saved I, your I, ass. I would, I, would, I would object and say that Copra knows how to make the best shit. Mm, you know what? My family's not really a fighting family. They're spies. They wouldn't give two shits about your armor. Copper would take both of those shits. I was going to say, we're trying to round this out. <laughs> my, my armor oh my God. Uh, protects oh my God. your people. You will give a shit. Or I will tell where the chinks are in the armor. Hey, 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 hey. No, hey, no, no, I knew you were going to go that wow. way. That, no, wow. That. wow. <laughs> I'd like the General So's chicken. <laughs> Oh my god. I'm a personal fan of beef and broccoli. You know, this was as bad as when Ryan called me out on the Jew comment. I don't want to hear that bullshit. <laughs> I, all right. I, I don't so like the, anybody, so screw it. You're all Mel Brooks to me. Uh, <laughs> your ass clan is going to try and talk their way out. Oh gosh, and Carol's back again. I thought we were done with her. Anyway, Blake. Uh, Carol's the, room needs uh, use. Gotta hurry. Gotta pick this up. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. The Philia clan has been uh, outed as the villains. They're at the party, surrounded by enemies. How do they end this last free fight? Uh, they protect the matriarch while she escapes to the foreign territory. All right. Do they have anything interesting up their snatches? To uh, if 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 she if she is cornered or or well no I, I take that back Be before she attempts to flee mm -hmm. uh, Necro will try and charm uh, the monarch uh, into thinking that the PC is actually uh, the enemy okay yeah end up having to fight a whole room and try and break a cur or uh, spell all right I, I was I was going to say if she if she can get the monarch on her side she has the room on her side and that's enough, and that's all that she needs yeah so it sounds like the mountain doors are going to try and talk their way out and then be brutally slaughtered because they don't have the monarch on their side and Blake is going to try and talk his way out as well or at least get I'm the going, I'm not going to just try and talk I'm going to cast a spell yeah yeah hey yeah. Even in Nuremberg, the armors got away with it, so I don't want to hear that bullshit. <laughs> there I'm you sorry. go. I'm so a not so so reference. So History Mangala. doesn't He's matter to me. Brazil right now. Uruguay, dick. <laughs> oh, that's right. The boys from Brazil are Hitler. There you go. 
<clears throat> All right, Carol. The bonds uh, have been revealed. They are the actual villains. You know, surprisingly, the other two houses are somehow innocent in all of this and you've decided no, to sell out your kingdom for some odd reason you're the actual clear, only clear, good house I, I, i'm clearly innocent i'm yeah. an honest businesswoman engaging in <laughs> i'm not innocent no. i'm right. guilty as carol fun. how do you make this last fight something that you know gets the bored barbarian back into the play and kind of enjoying this Oh, uh, you know what the sad thing is? Because this was a social thing, so I went more for the social aspects. And I absolutely, I was going to say this is not an, this is not an encounter day. directed towards your barbarian. No, it is not. But we're trying to round it out at the end. Huh. Necklace so, of fireballs, and we're just going to melt the uh, iron eye beams so that it falls it, it, in it, a certain it, way. It, it, we're we're going to burninate the symbolism. Hey, guys. Stop talking over me and let me finish. Fuck oh, you, Carol. Oh my gosh. Carol, Carol stood up brings herself. it home. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, anyways. And then immediately gets walked over. You want, well, wait, you want, you want more of a fight. So, remember, I do have the muscle. Yeah. No. Bring the it. Muscle, I, I, although, first I would try to do actually what Blake would do, which, because I have a bard, high charisma, and charm spells. Uh, I would really try to, and and I do have the ear of the king because we've been feeding him information. So um, he doesn't necessarily want to get rid of his greatest info source. So yeah, first, I, 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 I would I would give myself and Carol's house advantage on their on their uh, or disadvantage on their saves against any charm spells. I probably throw I would probably throw uh, Frank's clan under the bus. Or the PCs, because that might be that would be interesting. Probably be the PCs. Clearly, the your ass clan is stupid. You can step <laughs> on them. You're right. You're right, you're right. I don't think they're smart enough. But uh, yeah, no, I would try to turn it on the tables on the PCs, and hopefully get away scot free. Otherwise, uh, I would put the the, the muscle. He would be basically a roadblock while the other two would kind of go out of sight and change into something and and escape. And they probably have contingencies. You, you, where you've learned can... well, young Padawan. And basically they have contingencies because they got a whole vault of info. where they And they have a lot of servants of a lot of the family members and such who would basically, I mean, oh, some of them are floating around here too. They would well, go honestly, there. you guys get outside the wall, and there's the Yuanti army that you've been helping the entire time. True, but also uh, I've, never, never, I've never been actively helping all the people out of uh, the city. So I haven't quite thought that through on because I wasn't, you know, I didn't. I, I basically came up with what you asked for, so that was the basic. You know, That's what right. I screwed everyone over on this one. Well, no, no, and I do take that back because <laughs> I, I, I was offered the town. So, yeah, I guess I could have potentially been helping. Yeah. All so, right. And that sounds it. essentially like the end of the one shot. The other possibility is, again, the PCs finger the wrong clan or house. Finger your ass. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've already established that Finga has aspirations to the throne. She and doesn't aspirate at all. That's how good she is. Oh, dear God. <laughs> I lost my day. Right. It's on 9 11. The Mother wrong God. house or clan is accused. Unfortunately, the traitor is still allowing the Yuanti a secret way in, which calls the fall of California. Your PCs fail. They suck. They're terrible at political intrigue. <laughs> Why did you guys even try this in the first place? They're led by what Scott. A, ran, a one shot where you <laughs> had Eric rock Eric rubs and it would have been man great. falls on his sword as the Yuan T infiltrate the city. Surprised we didn't have a Scott tonight. Where is he off? Killing Rudolph again? No, no, no. He's he's drinking heavily in Tijuana. Good thing to do. That's only if he calls a taxi. Ah, true. true. <laughs> All right, guys, that is the end of the gift giving between the roles. I know a couple oh, of these oh, have been oh, fun. Oh, but nec necrophilia's gifts. Oh, dear God. Oh, no, no. Nope, nope. I'm going to talk over everybody else right now. <laughs> 
I'm taking full control of this. This is the end of the Between the Rolls gifts one shots. Maybe we'll do a special one of these later on. I know we have certainly been interested in talking about uh, uh, how to plan this. Obviously, don't take our advice because it did not go well on this one. We, we, Random we tables we, we got. We were definitely though. interested in exploring more of the improvisation aspect of things. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. And so real quick, Frank, your thoughts on the idea of this one shot and its creation and then final thoughts as well. Folks, it's real tough, uh, and this is, uh, with a few years under my belt, it's very tough to go ahead and plan out these because uh, the social interaction is always going to be a crapshoot, so don't overthink it. Keep it fast and loose. Maybe outline it instead of directly uh, writing it out. It's probably going to save you a major headache in the long run. Uh, don't ask me to outline it because I'm apparently <laughs> terrible at it. <laughs> Uh, you final are, thoughts your, your, are your, your, your uh, outlines eat donkey dick. <laughs> <laughs> final thoughts are thank you for following us. Thank you for watching us. Uh, we hope you have a safe and happy new year and uh, catch us this Saturday with the campaign group. Uh, oh, holy shit. That's all I got. Yeah, we'll see you in the next decade. Blake, your final thoughts on the political intrigue. How did we do trying to come up with something? Don't, Obviously, don't, it needs work. don't have three different people performing all of your uh, all, all of your NPCs because uh, if you are trying to engage in a, a an intrigue and a, a political type thing, you should at least be you as the DM should be aware going into the situation. Uh, what kind of a front uh, you're going to be having because yes. if, if, if it's him versus me versus her versus we weren't even, we didn't even give a shit about the PCs. We were just trying to fuck each other over. So, <laughs> you, you that know, was it, the it, exercise. And your DM has no idea what the relations are quite as well as the people who made the NPCs is what I'm finding out. So this was a terrible <laughs> pairing. <laughs> right, and that's why I'm so pissed off that you usurped my idea for a round-robin storytelling, because this was supposed to be an exercise in improvisation a la Uda Hagen. Hey, I will happily... I haven't had ice cream in weeks. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> right. so yes, join, it, join us next, next week when we will actually do what I wanted to do tonight. <laughs> <laughs> That's still in debate. We'll figure out what we're actually doing. Uh, Carol, your thoughts no, on the no, political no. intrigue. We, 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 Carol, we, don't we, let him we, talk we, over we, you. We, Carol, do not let him talk over you. Take the final stand. Hey. Political right. intrigue. Happy New Beer. You know, you know what? I think, no, I think it could actually work if you take what we, we all did and sift it. And more about, yeah, with a big ass filter, <laughs> I mean, or, or, or a narrow one. I mean, truth be told, you could do it where each each house has two pieces of information, like I came up with. Yeah, you know, and see, we, we, did, we did all come up with good ideas. Yeah, no, I think it. I think this would work, and maybe that's because I don't hate this sort of thing as much as like Frank does. And honestly, uh, Blake, I think actually you've got a pretty good mind for running this sort of thing too. I think a lot of it is is that right. Yeah, you don't I, 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 do, I do. I do. generally tend to uh, prefer something along the lines of a social situation. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, but the thing is, it's like it's like almost you know you said kind of outline it. I think yeah, put down like a couple secrets and things, and then. Do a lot of improving on your own. I mean, that can be, and it, it is a lot of fun. I've done it as a GM, um, where I've had my players go off the rails from what I expected, and then, but we have, you know, but it ends up coming out fun. And I feel like in some ways, it's a little more organic, too. I feel like in the campaign, in this campaign here, that we've definitely gone off the rails of the campaign. And What? I don't well, see well, that I, at all. I, 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 we've, actually, we've, actually, we've actually had more social situations than I think any of us had actually originally. I really, and by the way, I really enjoyed it. I'm going to be sad. I'm going to be missing this weekend. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> like, like I said, while, while, you're on, while, while you're on screen, go ahead. Roll that D20, Carol. <laughs> no. Um, yeah, for what, though? I mean... <laughs> 
<laughs> no. All right. Hopefully the producer is listening right now. Follow us next week, eight o'clock Eastern time to see what happens in the campaign. Eat my asshole. Everyone wave at the camera. Say goodbye. So End it now. End it, please. <laughs>